So you want to know how to share a Canva template that you have created with your customers. You are in the right place because today I will show you what to do after you have created your printable inside of Canva. If you want to share it as a template so your customer can make any changes that they want without making any changes to the original document that you created. Or let's say you want to sell your template, which is what I do. I create Canva planner templates uh, that I sell to my customers and then they can create their own planners and journals based on those templates. But let's say you want to just share the template. You don't just want to sell the PDF. Well, this is how you do it. And whether you are on the paid version version or the or, or the free version, I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we do that, I'm going to create really, really quickly a, oh, I always do this, inches. Okay, I'm going to create really, really quickly um, a, a printable right here. I always do a 0.5 by 11 inches, which is US letter size, but you can do whatever size you want, of course. And here it is, I always, put master in the um, beginning of the title of my file. So master, I'm gonna put quick printable. That's going to be the name, quick printable. And let me start designing real quick. It's just like a one pager, what I want to do. So I'm going to put a background and I just added I'm going to do this color and then I'm going to do 50% transparency. Now I'm going to lock it. I need another, there it is, another square that I'm going to turn into a rectangle about like that. I'm going to position it in the center and then I want to change the color to white. That looks wonderful. Now I'm going to duplicate it because I want to make, uh, let me see, about a smaller, about like that. And about 3.7, let me see, the center would be right there. I want it a little bit smaller. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate that one. I'm actually going to put it right here, right next to it. There we go, that looks wonderful. I'm going to put some text and I want to make this size 14. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to write the word text because whatever text you want, you just put it there. I don't like the positioning. Let me make it a little bit closer, 200. Right here. A little bit down. There we go. Okay. 100. Yep. That looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to click the letter L on my keyboard and there's a line, which I'm going to put about right there. I'm going to pull from this little white circle to make this line a lot thinner than what it is. About, let me see, fit. Yeah. That looks good. But now I'm going to go back to 200, start moving this so I can find that again. And I'm going to pull from the side to make that line um, extend all the way to right there. I'm going to duplicate and I want it about like that. Let's go back to fit just so we can see they're a bit too close. I'm going to put it down a little bit, just using my keyboard How about right there. Let me put this down a little bit, both together. Now I'm going to duplicate. Let me see. Uh, but, uh oh, see, I knew that would happen. It always happens. Okay. Let me get a little bit closer. Okay. I'm going to select those two duplicate and I'm trying. There we go. Oh, keeps happening. 
Okay. Now I'm just going to grab it here. Okay, there we go. Duplicate. And let me see. Just grab all of these. Duplicate. And right now all I'm doing is putting lines over there. I probably need three more actually no I'm gonna put two more because I want to put some decorations at the bottom so that would be good I'm going to click fit only so I can see the whole thing select all the lines position space even vertically and that looks pretty good now let's go back to elements recently used let me see okay so I'm going to use this and I'm going to pull so it's the size of all of that. I'm actually going to change the transparency a little bit. That's too much. Let's do 50. See what happens. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to grab it and put it all the way down about right there. Yeah. I'm going to duplicate that design, then pull it all the way up about right here and I'm going to send it backward because I want it I'm clicking backward until um, forward one time okay until it's behind these white boxes okay so that's looking good now how you share this if you are on the paid version you have Canva Pro you're going to click share and right here you we will have three options share uh, to edit share as a template or share to view so on um, this for this particular purpose we're going to click on uh, share a link to use as a template then you're going to copy the link and that is it let me show you what that looks like i just opened uh, like a random um, google doc and i'm going to paste the link here just so you can see what that link looks like it is huge now the way i like to share it and if you have received one of my emails you know you know what this looks like i usually put a piece of text that says click here and how do you embed that link on that text is you're going to select the text depending on what software you're using you will have this insert link will be in different places um but right now that's where it is so i'm going to insert the link on there apply and now when you make this when someone opens right the the um document that you sent them with the link they can just click here and they will be taken directly to Canva and you'll see what that looks like. It's right here. And that's how you share the template. The person just clicks on use template and they're able to open a whole new document that they can use. Let me just click on there to show you. Um, and they are able to make any edits to this without making changes to the original that you created. See the original that I created is this one. And then we have a copy and you can tell it's a copy because it says right here at the top, this is a copy of that master that I have created. So let me close that. Let me go back here. Now, if you are on the free version, you are not going to have the option to share as a template, but you can share a link to edit. So you will click that one copy the link and let me go back over here and show you what that looks like it's this one right here and this is what you would share with your customer now heads up when that person makes a change to that template it will make a change to the one to, to your master copy basically and to everyone else everyone who has that link and has imported um, this into their account will be able to see those changes and some people what they do is they create a copy of the master so you will go here file make a copy and this creates a copy of your master and you can see see it says copy right here 
So you would just put, um, you name it whatever you want. Name here, you can um, name it whatever you want. And then you add a page. You put this page at the top. See now you have that blank page and your printable. And a lot of people, what they do is they, on here they put um, stop and they put, let's make it red. And they make it real big. So whoever opens this document, they it, it catches their attention, right? And then they add a piece of text right here that says something like, make sure to make a copy of this file, otherwise your changes won't be saved or something like that. Like whatever piece of text you want to put here, letting your customer know like, hey, don't edit this, just um, make a copy of this one for yourself. And that way you will share um, your master copy with someone else. But if you're trying to sell, Canva templates, just, you know, pay for the yearly. It's only like $10 a month and it saves you a lot of headaches, <laughs> seriously. But um, if you just needed to share real quick with someone, that would be um, a good way, especially if you are working with someone in one document. So I hope this helped. Oh, and th with this one, if you wanted to do, you can share it with a click here or like a, any piece of text. That way you're not sharing like the entire um, link. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, um, do leave a comment down below. I'm happy to help and to answer any questions. And thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.